and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Today we're going to take a look at some tripods. The main purpose of today's video is to take a look at my brand new tripod here. This is going to be kind of a review of it. But I also wanted to do like a comparison and contrast between the other two tripods that I own. So let's take a look. I wanted to quickly apologize about this video before we get started because literally all the three part tripods that I own are here so I'm shooting most of this video by hand or propping the camera up on something so if the uh, video is a little shaky I'm sorry. The first tripod we're taking a look at this is a Targus. This is very specifically the Targus TGT BK 58T. I've owned this tripod for about three years and this is the tripod I started with. This is a $35 to $40 Walmart special. This is a fairly shitty tripod. But there's nothing wrong with this tripod to get started with and then upgrade later. This tripod here is a Quantrary by Sunpack. This is the uh, QSX 9001. I've owned this tripod for about a year. Uh, my mother-in-law found this tripod at a garage sale for $10, but re uh, doing some research online shows that this tripod is right in the $100 range. It's not a bad tripod. This tripod here, and it's probably almost impossible to tell. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. This is a Vanguard Alta Pro 263 AP. And I did not misspeak. This whole thing is the 263 AP, Paul. And I will explain why the leg reads 263 AT uh, shortly. Before we do anything else, I'd like to take a look at the uh, basic anatomy of a tripod. A tripod, as the name implies, will have three legs. The legs will have multiple sections that uh, extend to make the tripod taller. Also, a tripod will have a center section, which you can extend to make the tripod taller as well. Uh, that the legs are more of a coarse adjustment and then the, the center column is more of a fine adjustment. The tripod generally will have a quick release plate, something that you can pop off to attach the camera to and pop back on. Unfortunately, uh, the size of this plate differs from tripod to tripod unless you get a tripod that's in the same line, kind of similar to the Vanguard. The uh, head of the tripod will generally have a pan, which is the side to side kind of, kind of the, the turning you can pan. It will have a tilt, which is this up and down motion. And it will have a swivel, which is laying the camera on its side if you wanted to do like a 90 degree view. And finally, the uh, camera, the tripod will also have a section which allows you to uh, fold the legs up like that. In the first two tripods we're going to look at, this one and the uh, Sunpack, uh, there are connecting rods that connect the legs to the center column for stability, and the uh, Vanguard does not. First, let's take a look at the meat potatoes meat and potatoes of the tripod, which are the legs. All three tripods have a three section leg, meaning there's, if we open this up, there are three leg section, the top section, the middle section, and the bottom section. Uh, each tripod has a latch, which opens and closes to allow you to extend the leg and then lock the leg in place. The cheaper tripods tend to have a, a I would call this a pinch style latch. When you open the latch, there is a cam wheel here on the side, and then when you close the latch, the cam wheel pushes up against 
the side of the leg, squeeze, you know, squeezing it together this way to hold it in place. Unfortunately, uh, this latch has uh, two deficiencies. The first is that it's not, as you can tell, it's not a super tight positive engagement. Also, this pinching action, because the legs of this tripod are aluminum, can actually squish the aluminum, uh, damaging it, making it hold even weaker. These are the legs of the uh, Sunpack tripod. It's a very, very similar system where you, uh, again, it's a three section, so you have one section and then you have two sections. But this mechanism here, while it's still a pinch style mechanism, it's a lot more sturdy than what the Targus offers. The, you, know, you have a lot more uh, confidence in this mechanism that uh, if we really, like, I really have to apply a lot of force to get this leg to move. And as I mentioned, I was going to show you, or at least try to show you, what the what it looks like, you can sort of make out there are little divots here along the leg because this pinch pinches this way and this tripod from you know, use, maybe even possibly abuse, has actually gotten a little bit divoted here. So when you unlock this, bring the leg in and then lock it down, it's actually a little loose here. Now let's take a look at the Vanguard. Again, on the Vanguard, you have a three section leg. So one and two sections like that. But with the Vanguard, the mechanism for how the leg actually holds in is different than the other two. In the Vanguard, there's a ring that wraps itself all the way around and then there's a bolt that goes through that ring. When you work this cam mechanism, the cam mechanism pinches that ring and actually applies pressure all the way around the leg, which I'm pushing on that with all my might. I can't get this leg to move at all. This is a much, you know, uh, a much uh, superior mechanism to the other two. Uh, let me show you that up close. Here is the mechanism up close. This right here uh, is the uh, pinch that holds the, uh, what would you call this, the adjustment mechanism, the cam mechanism to the upper leg. And then this section right here is what gets pinched by the cam to hold the leg in place. What also makes these, uh, this type of mechanism nice is you can tighten this bolt this nut, I guess, if need be, to uh, adjust the mechanism. So you can actually get the cam to hold tighter, or if you've owned this tripod for a very long time and it's a little worn out, you can give that a little tweak to compensate for the wear. Now let's take a look at the feet on this tripod. This tripod's got this little swivel foot that will adjust for a surface that you're sitting on, but this foot is plastic, and it's, it's pretty shitty. It lay, lets the tripod slide around quite a bit. When you have this tripod just sitting there on a slippery surface like linoleum, if you just push it, the tripod just slides right across. See? It's actually, it's, the feet are fairly wimpy. On the Sunpack tripod, the feet are tremendously better than what we saw on the Targus. Uh, the foot is rubber and it's kind of rounded. It doesn't move or wobble like the uh, Targus one does. But the really awesome feature that this has is you can actually screw the foot down and what you get is a nice sharp point. So this tripod is good for using both indoors with the, the foot extended, which hides the point here. You don't scratch up any floors. You just get a nice rubber grip and outdoors, which you screw the foot in. And now you have a nice sharp point here, which will pierce into the ground. As you can see here with the, the rubber feet, particularly on a slick surface, this tripod will fall over before it actually slides. It's, it's uh, the feet give it 
really nice traction. The foot on this Vanguard tripod is nearly identical to the Sunpack. When it's uh, fully extended, you have this nice rounded rubber foot. And then, so this is for indoors, and then if you want to shoot outside, you just screw the foot in and you get a nice point to pierce into the ground. And again, because of the rubber feet, the tripod will, as you push on it, it will want to tip over before it actually, you know, try and slide across the floor, you know. The, the feet give it just this awesome stability. Now let's take a look at the leg extension mechanism, which for the first two tripod is the center section and on the Vanguard is actually a set of buttons. For this Targus one, the leg extension mechanism is a nut. You loosen the nut here in the middle and the legs will open and close really nicely like that. When it's fully extended, you tighten the nut and now this is tight so the legs don't move and you can adjust the legs to, you know, some sort of intermediate angle that you want and this nut will lock it in place. The only real problem with this nut is that when you shut the tripod all the way, it's really difficult to tighten it because as you try and tighten it, you actually torque on the struts here and it's, it's, it's not a comfortable feeling as it may. With the uh, sun pack here, the leg extension mechanism is improved. Instead of having a nut that you torque this way, there's this nice knob. You twist the knob to unlock it. Go ahead and fold it up. And this is where this knob is awesome is that you can access this knob with the tripod fully folded up. So you can tighten up the legs without having to, you know, reach in between the legs to try and deal with that nut that we saw earlier. Now with this Vanguard here, the leg extension mechanism is actually a button right here that the tripod gets fully closed up and then if you just pull on the leg, the leg will extend to its first position and then you can do the same thing with the other legs. There are some advantages and disadvantages to this kind of mechanism. Uh, the first obvious uh, disadvantage is that while with these other two tripods you could lock the legs in some intermediate slightly close position, with this one it really doesn't work because the legs will come out this way. Where this kind of mechanism really has an advantage is that, let me show you, if you push this button the leg can actually go further. It, it has two positions. There is a a 25, a 50, and an 85 degree angles, if I remember correctly, but please don't quote me on this. So that uh, this is fully closed. This is the first position. You push the button, that's the second position, and you can push the button, that's the third position. This adds a really unique feature to this tripod that if I extend this head all the way up, I can actually nearly lay this tripod flat like that, which allows you to get much, much lower to the ground. This feature, you know, neither one of the two tripods have this feature. So it's a, um, it's a double-edged sword that to gain this kind of flexibility, you have to lose the ability to lock the legs in any position. You only get three positions. Uh, also the one, downside to uh, this kind of button system is that while with uh, these two tripods once they're locked once you lock this in place the legs stay put you can move the tripod around etc with this kind of leg system when you pick the tripod up you can see that you know this one leg already kind of came down so you you don't get quite as positive of a lock uh, as you would you know with this kind of setup. Now let's look at, look at the mechanism that raises and lowers the center column. The Targus has a very simple knob. You turn the knob to lock it in place or you 
loosen the knob and then you screw, you know, you turn this handle and this handle raises with the center section and then lowers the center section and then if you tighten this up, it holds it in place. This mechanism on this tripod feels incredibly cheap. It, when you loosen this, you can actually hear that knocking. That knocking sound is this uh, center column actually rattling around inside you know, this uh, outer sheath at the bottom. Really screams cheapness. Also, this knob feels pretty crappy, so does this handle. So this is, it works, but you know, it, it doesn't feel great. The sump pack here, instead of having a knob on the side, like the Targus has this ring. You loosen the ring, and then the head moves up and moves down, like that. Something that I have to mention is the this uh, sump pack actually has a handle that you screw, or at least had a handle. The handle's been broken off here, but this kind of twist mechanism that squeezes the uh, center column actually feels nicer than what the target targets has also if you shake this around you don't hear that kind of you know when you loosen make sure that this is nice and loose you don't hear that same kind of rattling that you uh, felt out of the targets now if you look at the vanguard you have that same kind of knob set up that the targets has but this knob let me tell you this knob feels so much nicer you loosen the knob, you pick up the center column, you tighten it. This is where you have to be careful. If you, uh, that's actually slightly off camera, let me lower this down a little bit. If you look closely, there's this uh, orange rubber washer uh, right underneath the uh, head here. The reason for this washer is this tripod has a fairly unwanted side effect. And that side effect is if you're not careful, and you loosen the knob and you have you know a big old camera sitting up here this happens and if you you know if you drop this all the way down and you have a big old lens hanging off the camera you could accidentally damage your equipment so you really really have to be careful that you don't drop it that you're holding the center section when you loosen the knob. and i've actually done this a couple of times accidentally if you're not used to it this could be a problem for you now a feature that I wanted to note on all the tripods is this accessory hook. This accessory hook hangs at the bottom of the center section here and the purpose of this accessory hook is uh, some people refer to it as a rock bag where you can take some rocks and put them in the bag and then hang them on this hook. This hook then allows you to stabilize your tripod in uh, unstable conditions. The sun pack here is equipped for a similar thing that it's got uh, a threaded section here and it's most likely that it did have some sort of hook or attachment to begin with but because I got this tripod used I didn't get any kind of accessories with it or anything so we can't really mark the, uh, the sun pack down for not having the hook because it is equipped to hold one. The Vanguard also has a hook, and the hook on the Vanguard actually has a nice feature that the hook is spring-loaded and re it retracts. If you pull on the hook, you can, you can pull the hook out, so the uh, hook folds up out of the way, and uh, it also, if you, if you have a bag that's, that fits nicely in this loop, it'll securely hold it. You can't accidentally pop the bag off and have it fall off. Now let's take a look at the head of the tripod. The head of the tripod can really make or break a tripod. In the case of this Targus, it's really a break. But let's uh, take a look at it in more detail. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the head of a tripod has really three directions you can play this play with. You have the pan, the tilt, and the swivel. Like that. Also, uh, most uh, tripod heads will also have a removable uh, uh, quick release. Uh, I wish the quick releases were m uh, more universal, but I mean, I guess we'll take what we can get. If you take a look at the bottom of this quick release, there is a little uh, handle on there that you can uh, go ahead and screw the 
quick release into your camera and these are always nice to have. I really dislike the ones that have, you have to use a coin. So now we can see the first really big issue with this tripod, let me get a better view of that, is the quick release handle here. This guy. Uh, it was really loose and sloppy when I got the tripod and I tightened it up and there is a spring inside but to get it to be not loose and sloppy but still spring loaded, you know, there was no good uh, middle ground there. But uh, even though it's not spring loaded, it still holds the uh, quick release pretty well. Uh, this tripod head does have a, uh, a bubble level and I don't know if you noticed that or not, but this tripod head is pretty sloppy. This is a pretty horrible tripod head. Uh, the knobs feel terrible. The handle here, this handle is what you know moves it up and down. If you tighten it down, it doesn't move anymore than this guy's here. And then back here you have this little handle that you loosen to change the position of the head like that overall this head is a real thumbs down and the rest of the tripod is reasonable it's you can live with it the head on this tripod is just absolute garbage knowing how bad this head was when i bought this tripod i would have probably looked for something else The head on the Sunpack is an upgrade from what we saw on the tar uh, Targus. Targus? Yeah, Targus. The controls for it are a little nicer. They don't feel quite so cheap. You can loosen them and move them around. And I couldn't really demonstrate this on the Targus because just because how terrible it is. But with this uh, uh, Sunpack, you can really tell that uh, there's the there's nothing really holding the head together for other than just straight friction. So if I loosen the uh, tilt control here and let go, it just falls straight down. And I'll show you what this looks like on the Vanguard and how much of a difference the uh, internals of the Vanguard make. But you have your this is your tilt control. Loosen that up. It has nice a nice big knob. So it's a little on the stiff side. Uh, the uh, quick re uh, release for the quick release head is really nice. It's spring loaded. It doesn't feel loose or sloppy. Uh, there is a bubble level that's on the uh, quick release versus the head. It really doesn't matter. You can put this head in this way or put this head in this way, this generally feels reasonably nice. It's not loose and sloppy. The, if I knew better, I would have gone with something like this when the $100 territory versus that Targus, which is in what, the $35 to $40 territory. This is the head on the Vanguard. This is probably the best head I have ever felt on a tripod and Unfortunately, this isn't Philo vision, but when you loosen this and move the head around, it has just this nice, smooth, uh, slightly resistive action. Even it's resistive, even if you pull the handle all the way out. Uh, there we go. There's still just this really nice fluid motion that it's it just it it feels sexy. And where this really shows is. Remember how I showed you in the Sunpack, when you let go of the handle, the head just drops. This is what the head looks like on this Vanguard. See that slow, fluid motion that, you know, the head feels just wonderful on this guy. And similar to all of the other ones you have, this is your tilt control, you have your pan, and even the pan has that nice you know, it's just slightly resist the fluid motion and then you have your tilt control like that. The thing I found kind of confusing about this head is, as you saw with the other uh, two tripods, you have three separate controls, one for the pan, one for the tilt and one for the swivel. In this case, you have the swivel control here and you have your uh, tilt control here, but where is the pan control? 
The pan control is actually this knob right here, but it doesn't work like you would expect it to. The way this knob has two positions. In the current position, which, uh, hold on, let me read that. It is the uh, uh, photo position. Photo, yeah, sorry. It's the photo position. When you tighten this knob here, let me go ahead and tighten that up. Both the tilt and the pan here are locked out. If I loosen this knob and then turn this, it's, uh, what is that, about 90 degrees this way, this is the panorama position. And in the pan panorama position, if I tighten down the tilt control, the uh, pan still works. I, I can't really say if that's a good feature or a bad feature. Um, I mean, I can totally understand the photo where you, you pick a position and you lock the head down and it works, but the, uh, to each his own, uh, the, that feature doesn't really bother me. Uh, now moving on to the quick release head. The quick release head in this thing is fantastic. Now, that's a pretty good view. We have uh, three different bubble levels. There's one up here, one over here. You can see this one, you can't really see the other two. And then you have the quick release head. For the quick release head, there is a double lockout for the, the head, meaning that I can't move this lever. There we go, it hits a stop. Up until I push this orange button, which is, it's a, it's a two-stage lockout. Now I can release the the head and there we go it came out but also notice how the lever is actually stayed put uh, in the all the way open position and there's this little tiny button right there now I can take this head pop it back in and you go click and it's locked back into place it's fantastic I love this head the one gripe I have about this head is if you look underneath here you have you know a, a d-ring but this D-ring is super stiff. It's actually really, you know, it's it's really painful sometimes for your fingers to get this D-ring out of there. But otherwise, this thing is phenomenal. Of course. Like that. Uh, trying to do this through, the, there we go. Trying to do this through the uh, camera viewfinder is difficult. Now let's take a look at the final and let me say the most phenomenal feature of, oh, I forgot to mention, but remember how I said that uh, the, this tripod is an Alta Pro 263 AP. What does that mean? The, specifically the 263 AP is the tripod with this specific head on it. Uh, Vanguard actually sells this tripod without the head. You can get everything from here down separately, obviously cheaper because the head's not included, and Vanguard sells three different heads for this tripod. You can screw the camera directly onto the tripod down here. If you unscrew this, there's actually a quarter inch uh, threaded insert and a three eighths inch threaded insert adapter sitting underneath here that you can use to just screw the camera on directly or you can get one of three heads uh, this is the pan and tilt head for lack of a better word uh, then they make a ball head which is a single ball and then you have just a knob to adjust it on the side and then you have kind of a pistol grip uh, head where when you pull the pistol grip you know almost like a gun you can swivel the head around and when you let go it locks it back into place so the base model, which is the tripod from here down, is the Alta Pro 263 AT, and that's what you saw on the leg. When you get this as a kit with the, uh, this particular head, this is the 263 AP. And like I was saying earlier, before I interrupted myself, now let's take a look at the best feature of this tripod. Now let me show you the reason why I specifically picked out this tripod and that is because I wanted a tripod that I can easily shoot down onto a flat surface. Specifically the Alta Pro line of these uh, Vanguard tripods have this feature where you 
lift up the head like that. There's a little button down here, and I'll show you a zoomed in view here in a second. You push that button, you lift the head up about that far. Now there's a lever right here. You release the safety, it's got a little safety on it. Pull the lever, and then the head swivels down sideways. This allows you to shoot down onto a surface, and when this tripod's fully extended, it's actually quite tall. So you can mount the camera on the side here and then you know, swivel it around so the camera points directly down at a table. And this feature doesn't stop there. You can actually, there's another knob here on the side. And again, I'll show you a, a close-up view here. Now, once that knob is released, this contraption will actually swivel all the way around, or I guess pan if you want to call it that and you can pan it over, release the head, and you can actually tilt this thing all the way down. This is you know, a phenomenal feature of this tripod, this swivel mechanism. Now let's take, up, uh, now let's take a closer view of what this mechanism actually looks like. So right here is the uh, handle I was talking about, that if you loosen this, the whole thing will spin around like that. Let me go ahead and tighten that back up. Now, let me loosen this handle, bring it up. Down here is this little push button. It's a little spring-loaded button. And you can see these little marks here that show you stop. So you push this button and you slide the tripod up, in, up inside. And up here, see these marks up here, right there? Those are letting you know that, hey, it's time to stop moving the tripod. Now you have this little lever. You pull the lever to release it, tip the head over, and then bring it over. Go ahead and tighten this guy up, and then tighten this guy up. And now it's sitting sideways. Again, by far, this is the best feature of this tripod. Now the Targus tripod here came with a bag. This Targus on it, and uh, it folds up nicely into a little package. Go ahead and close the handles, and then move this guy around, and it kind of lays down on the side here. You can tighten it up to hold it in place, and this really nicely fits into its bag. Also, the Targus uh, tripod here has a feature that neither one of the ones here do. It has a carrying handle and this tripod is very very light that doesn't necessarily mean again it's a good tripod it doesn't mean that it's a good tripod it's it's actually a fairly terrible tripod but you can put a camera on the end here and carry it by the handle and then pop it open whenever you need to that's one thing that i did really enjoy about this tripod it's very very light the sunpack tripod here is a little heavier which doesn't necessarily say anything about it. it. It's a nicer build quality. The plastic's a little thicker. The feet are a little nicer. The, the clamp's a little nicer. But there's no nice carrying handle. You kind of have to maybe carry it by the neck or grab one of the feet. Uh, it does fold up nicely. Oh, come on. There we go, like that. If I had to bet, this tripod did come with a bag when you got it brand new, but again, because I got this used, I did not get a bag with it. The Vanguard tripod is actually quite heavy. It's probably at least double the size of the uh, Sunpack. It it doesn't really have a nice carrying handle or anything. It does come with a nice bag. But the problem with the bag is that the head with these two handles on it doesn't fit in the bag. So you're actually forced to remove the handles. Oops. To fit it inside the bag. 
V, and I'm not sure whether this is meant to be a, a feature or what, but it did, the handles came screwed into uh, this little holder here, which uh, clips nicely onto the side here. So when I stick it into the, the bag, I will screw the handles into this and clip them on the side. Another nice feature of the, so the Vanguard tripod is it actually comes with a little bitty toolkit. You can pop this open like that and this works as a spanner wrench for undoing the uh, 3 8 uh, adapter collar that you know lives in here in the uh, underneath the head. Also it comes with a little Allen wrench like that. And this Allen wrench is what you would actually use to separate the head from the, the rest of the tripod. There are actually three Allen screws underneath here that you loosen, and then the head unscrew, and then the head go uh, unscrews. Also, let me go ahead and stick that key back. Uh, there is also a little uh, hex key here. I guess not key, a uh, hex socket here. And the socket can be used to adjust the uh, screw on the legs. As I mentioned, you can, you can adjust the screw on the legs, but then there are other adjustments. Under here, uh, they do not give you the solid wrench, but there is an Allen uh, head screw that adjusts the tension in the legs here. Uh, there is also a uh, a hex head screw under here, underneath uh, of the, the lever here, that you can adjust to uh, uh, adjust the tension going this way. As always, uh, thank you for watching. Just a quick recap, we have the uh, Targus tripod here. Giant, giant chunk of shit, terrible tripod. I do not recommending uh, recommend getting this that after owning it for three years, this has been a terrible tripod. The Sunpack tripod, this is in the $100 uh, range. Uh, this tripod is pretty decent. It has some of the feature of the this nicer Vanguard tripod. The, uh, I would recommend this as a starting point. You know, Don't spend under $100 for a tripod. Uh, this uh, Vanguard uh, Alta Pro 263 AP, fantastic tripod. I love this tripod. Uh, from now on, you're going to see a lot of uh, better uh, overhead views of uh, stuff that I'm demonstrating, etc. Uh, this tripod uh, normally sells for $200. You can occasionally find it on sale for $160. So I found it on sale on Amazon for $160 during the holiday season. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this tripod, this is the nicest tripod I have ever worked with. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you have any questions or comments, you can, you're always welcome to put them down below.